Hi! In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to create a self-ranking leaderboard for your classroom using Google Apps. I will be sharing some really long formulas with you, but don't worry, you can obtain them by visiting www.teachingabovethetest.blogspot.com. First, you will need to create a document that has your ranking system. This is an important step as you will want to share the ranks with your students. You will also need it to host any images you want to include in your leaderboard. As you see here, I have my images and a brief description of each rank. Once you are done creating your document, you will need to publish it. This will give you the URLs for the images and you need those to embed them in your leaderboard. Copy the published code and open it in a new tab. Now go to your drive and create a Google Sheet. Change the name of the original sheet to something like Leaderboard. and add as many sheets as your items you will be keeping track of. Making sure that you're in your leaderboard sheet, add your identifiers and format them any way you like by adding fill colors or bolding them, centering them, whatever you want to do. You don't need to add the names of the students right away. I have populated this first column just so that you can see how the formulas work. This is where the fun begins. Navigate to your second page. Instead of retyping all the names or copy pasting them, the only thing you need to do is insert this formula, array formula index. Make sure that it says leaderboard that tells it that it needs to import the data from that sheet and then the range that you want to import. As soon as I click enter, I have now all the names that I included before. Do that for any of the pages where you want to include that same arrangement. Title the second column total and use the sum function to automatically tally all of the points for that student. Once you do that first one, you simply click on it, Control C to copy the cell and paste it. Again, see how it's changing every time depending on the row. Once you have created that arrangement, you can simply navigate to the next page and copy paste the whole thing again. Now as I add points, it will add automatically add them for me. At this point it is a good idea to freeze the first two columns in my sheet so that as I navigate through it, those remain in place. Again to freeze I just click on view freeze two columns. You can actually freeze as many columns as you wish. I added these random numbers so that you can see what happens when we go back to the leaderboard and modify the array formula so that it imports the totals from each sheet. I paste the array formula directed to blogs and tell it that I want the data from B2 to B38. See, there's my totals. Same thing happens for this gold one. Paste it, I direct it to gold, and again, B2 
to be 38. Obviously, you can change the cells to whatever suits you best. Now, what about those cute little pictures we created before? This is the formula. I know it looks scary, but it is just a series of conditional statements that tell the spreadsheet where to get the information and what to do with it. This first condition is my highest score, so I need the address of the image for my high score. I navigate to my published document and right click on my high score image so that I can copy the image URL. I'm going to need to shorten it because as you see it is extremely long. I go to good.gl which is Google's URL shortener. Paste the long URL and click on shorten URL. Then I copy this shortened URL, go back to my leaderboard and paste it between the quotation marks. I repeat the process for each of the images. Control C, paste it between the apostrophes. Once I am done with my formula, it is simply a matter of copy pasting that same cell into each of the following ones. Now, at the beginning of this tutorial, I promised you a self-ranking leaderboard. You create one by selecting all of your data on your leaderboard page, going to Data, Pivot Table. Click on Add Field in Rows, student name. You also want to add the rank. Add the blogs and the gold values, summarized by sum. This already shows the data that you wanted, but it's not sorted. You simply click on sort by log xp for example, you can sort it by gold and I like it in descending order. See how it changed? Let's go ahead and play with it for a little bit. Let's add some points to you in blogs. I don't know, a hundred thousand. And let's go ahead and also give you some gold, 25, and then the next day he did something else. Let's go back to the pivot table and see what happened to you. No longer here. He's obviously at the very top and you can see how it changed automatically. Before I show you how to embed this, let's make it pretty. Change the name, perhaps to something like rankings. Add nicer titles. Hide this row by selecting it and using right click to hide it. Perhaps center everything.
and using that same right click to resize the rows to something that will show my pictures more clearly. I will even hide this grand total since I don't need it. Right click and where is the hide? Here. Once you like what you have, it is simply a matter of publishing it. You don't necessarily want to publish the entire document. You can just go ahead and publish that particular page. You can share this link. Let's actually see what it looks like. There you go. Beautiful. Or even use the embed code. Now, the new full sheets does not give you an embed code for specific rows and columns. However, you can still modify it. So let's copy this code. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it into Blogger. So go to HTML, paste it, and right after false, add the needed range code. This is the range. I went ahead and already did the width and height so that when I go into Compose to look at it, it's already set up. You can always modify this to suit your needs. Width is right there, height moved over here. I don't know why it does that, but still it works just fine. That's it, a self-ranking leaderboard using Google Apps. I hope you find this useful as you continue your gamification journey. Enjoy!